Greetings fellow humans, and this is actually the tea I'm having, because this is tea with JD. And this is actually in the Booktube Newbie 2.0 tag. Uh, before we get into that, uh, this is, I think, honey ginger green tea. I'm not fully sure. I tossed the bag, so sorry. Uh, but the bag is luckily uh, renewable or recyclable, so that's great. Uh, so, Michael S. Deutsch did a wonderful version of the Booktube Newbie tag. He did a revamp uh, because he wanted to expand on the Booktube newbie tag. The Booktube newbie tag is like part of the, the initiation of coming into Booktube. Uh, you don't have to do it, but most people do. And it's a good way to get yourself known by people and whatnot. Um, but it's not that it was time uh, to, to refresh them. But Michael did that, and I think he had some really interesting questions, and I've seen some people do this tag, and I wanted to jump in, and he also tagged me, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, 11 questions, actually 10 questions. Uh, question 11 is, who do you tag? So, that's not really a question. And I do tag a lot of people. So, let's get into it. Question number one, what genres would you like to see talked about more on BookTube? Uh... Between the male booktuber tag and some other tags, I, I've realized um, that if you want to see a specific genre being discussed, you just do a search. And you'll be surprised. There's a lot of pe people say that, okay, booktube is YA dominated. We get that. And, and it, it, it is what it is. Uh, if people love it, go for it. And I'm, I'm happy that people enjoy YA and because other people go like, oh, it's all YA. That's bullshit. People are reading. <laughs> let's celebrate that let's celebrate that people are reading they don't have to read what you like that's fine but uh, if you do a search for specific things uh, you might be surprised so look for nonfiction book tag or you know get creative with your searches you know push yourself and don't go like uh, YouTube didn't offer me the most the most compelling videos no you have to dig to get to the good stuff um, but again, I have seen a ton of variety and, you know, luckily I, I've subscribed to a variety of channels that discuss different things. Uh, some of the things are nonfiction. Some of the, thing, the things are poetry, um, graphic novels, uh, and comics. Uh, and if you look, you will find, you won't find an overabundance, but I think that's a good thing. You know, uh, one of the problems that, that I, I think I would have with BookTube. Wait, is that a question? I'm not sure if that's a question, so let's leave it like that. And sorry for the gap, but you know, I'm only human. Trademark. Uh, so yeah, dig. Question number two What do you feel is the best way uh, to make friends on BookTube? Uh, write, comment, subscribe, and respond. Um, I think that's that's a really important thing I, I follow a ton of channels and here's the thing uh, and that's like a catchphrase <sighs> that's my like a lot of people say well you know like 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 at some point in my videos there's a here's the thing whatever um, I do follow a lot of channels uh, and I leave comments on channels and I give myself four or five comments and if the person hasn't responded to one of those four or five comments, well thought out comments, not not the booktube new, oh, welcome to the booktube channel, which I actually don't do. But um, if they don't respond, it gets to a point where I go like, eh, do I want to keep watching their, their videos? Because yes, it's part of entertainment, but the fun for me is the whole connecting aspect and meeting people. And, you know, I, I know you're amazing and you're, parents told you so all your life um, but if you don't engage I'm not gonna watch uh, the best way to make friends is to engage is to respond I, 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 I do my damnedest to reply uh, to every comment I have on all my social media channels because I'm in it for the contact it is sometimes stressful sometimes time consuming uh, but always worth it I've met some really amazing people from around the world, uh, just from interactions that I've had, 
everywhere everywhere uh the interactions do vary and specifically on booktube you know sometimes there can be conversations full-blown conversations of six seven eight responses and i love that and if you do that with me we're gonna be in touch we're gonna we're gonna find each other on another channel because that's it it's not that oh yes uh, worship the author because you know this in the author from puerto rico oh my god no it's not about that it's about exchanging ideas i love talking and uh, when I crave silence, I, I, I look for and often find silence. But I love conversation. I love contact. I love human contact. I love seeing what makes someone tick. And, and I've been rewarded handsomely just by, by not judging people and by being open to conversation. Uh, I've met gender-fluid people, asexual, agender. I've met, uh, you know, Hispanic, black, Indian met people from Nepal, I've met people, uh, people from Sweden, Slovenia, Romania, Poland, Holland. Uh, I've met people from Canada, so many wonderful people from Canada, from the US, great people as well, from Pu from Puerto Rico, actually, I actually don't think that most of the people that watch me are from Puerto Rico. And it's like, you know, oh, you got to support in Puerto Rico, it's very typical to say, oh, you got to support uh, what's What's from the hometown, Lo del Patio? That's that's how people say. It. Uh, but I guess I, I, I I'm not Puerto Rican enough. <laughs> but yeah, engage, engage in conversation. Um, everyone who has engaged in conversation, I also try to watch at least one or two videos. Some people I want, I would love to watch more, uh, but their video lengths are twenty and thirty minutes, and I can watch one. Um, because it, 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 it's sometimes silly. Sometimes you go into like, oh, I, I have to catch up on this person's channel. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't have to do shit. Uh, but you feel compelled. And, and when you catch up, you're often wonderfully rewarded. Uh, question number three. Uh, what will or what do you enjoy the most about making booktube videos? Uh, hearkening back to that long lost answer in question number two the contact uh but beyond the contact i i do enjoy seeing what random things come from my head by not editing myself i don't edit videos because uh, i if you go to an event or if you meet me in person as a friend or as a as a, as a fan or, or as a friend um I want you to get as, as real of a notion of who I am and how my, my brain works as possible. That's why I don't edit. Uh, some answers I do, I shoot off the cuff like these. I have the questions here, but I don't have my answers. I don't have notes. It's not that I didn't want to prepare. It's that I wanted it to be as natural as possible. And I do this for, for several reasons. Um, first off, if you're in a book event uh, and you get a random question, you want to have that agility with you and second off um, I think that one of the most important things in life is to be able to pass the JFK test if you want to be if you want to make friends and whatnot passing the JFK test is key what is the JFK test the JFK test is if you are in, an, in, in the JFK airport or any airport and there's a six hour delay and you have to be with a person for six hours how would that dynamic be so that you don't want to choke them to death by the end of those six hours. And these videos are me. So if we're ever in a in an airport, you at least you're warned at what the hell you're gonna see. And if I see a banana, you're gonna see me do stupid shit. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I enjoy tapping into whatever comes from my mind. I, I do ums. I do sometimes stutter uh, slightly. Um, as I search for words and thoughts and, and just chain that and I do enjoy that uh, because it also helps me in the writing and it also helps me in life uh, part of you know one of the most beautiful things in, in life is conversation and the words that we share in conversation and to be able to have you know interesting conversation you have to spruce it up you have to look for different things within you you have to tap into certain things and, and be 
quick on your feet. I, I, I like this because it, it does prompt me to to always, um, it's not that I'm working on being witty, uh, but it does help me find a joke in random things and just to embrace the madness within. Uh, this is rambling so hard, so let's try to speed this up. Question number four, what will you, or what do you look, uh, do you least look forward to when making booktube videos? On occasions, I do fall in the, into the numbers game and I do go like, oh, let's see how many people have watched. And I start to think strategically versus organically and then I have to shake myself out of that bullshit and, and go back to, to who I am. I've fallen into that not many times, but uh, it, it is that and it's like, eh. And on one occasion, uh, someone from Google Plus uh, followed here and they weren't that pleasant um, um that's definitely my least favorite thing but it's something that happens it's something that comes with the territory and if you want to be um, in my case an indie author uh it's it's stuff that I'll, I'll have to face and and i'm i am blessed that it's only been one really 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 crappy person and luckily they they have either stopped watching or stopped commenting uh there's I've mentioned that in other videos. If you're curious, I'll, I'll tell you about it. Write me up. Question number five. What videos other than tags, TBRs, wrap-ups, reviews, and recommendations would you want to see more of? Uh, more, more really digging into who that person is. Um, who are you? What's, what are you into? Um, what makes you laugh? What? No, don't don't give me the scripted version of you. Give me you. Uh, th those videos, whatever that the hell that is, that depends on on the person. Uh, some people embrace their creativity. Peter Clark, the writer, is a fantastic example of that. He's always doing really interesting and creative things and trying to challenge himself. Uh, I really like his channel a lot. I I think he's got a good head on his shoulders and a good heart in his chest. So. That's a good example of what I would like to see more of. He sometimes does, does poems, sometimes does creative uh, videos, and just to have fun. Uh, I would just like people to have fun. You know, not do something to grow your channel, but to enjoy yourself. Uh, anything that leads towards that, that is allowable on YouTube, go for it. Uh, question number six. What are some themes you want to see more or less of in books? There's a shit ton of books out there. Uh, go into a Barnes and Noble. Be, be honest with yourself. Look at your TBR. And tell me you don't feel a little crappy. Um, with me, the more I read, the more I find that someone has already written about it. So I, I just I don't think it's about more themes in, in books or whatnot. It's just me getting more time to read. Uh, I'll find it. I'll find what I want to what I want to find. And. I wouldn't want a request to be made. I would want to just discover it organically. You know, not something that is developed because we analyze the market and we see that, you know, uh, the scruffy ass indie authors from Puerto Rico who are on BookTube would like a book with this. So let's do this. Huh. It's like love triangles. Love triangles have become a marketing point and that's stupid. Oh, I'm team bullshit. Huh. Um... If there is a theme that you're interested in, do a search and you will find thousands of books on it or that deal with it. I know we gravitate towards big names like Neil Gaiman and, and sometimes they resonate. Neil Gaiman resonates with me, J.K. Rowling resonates with me, but other lesser known authors. Uh, I've, 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 I've mentioned China Mieville uh, before and he's a, I looked up how you pronounce the name. Um, and I've read one book and I have to read more and I want to read more and you know wh what do I want to find in terms of themes I don't know I just want a great story or a great book G good words in sequence that are entertaining to digest via <laughs> ocular consumption um, question number seven what are some of your booktube goals um, I'm, I still have this channel to, to promote my work I don't want to do it in your face. I want people to get to know me and say, oh, he's an interesting guy. I, I would like to meet him. And oh, he has books. Uh, what, what often happens is that people 
say, oh, so you have a book? And I go like, no, I have several books. And they go, so how many books? And I go, 10 books. And they go like, what the hell? And I'm working on it and I'm promoting it. And part of the working on it is mentioning it in this video. Um, it's not something I feel super comfortable with uh, because it does get on my nerves uh, to see it ad, ad nauseum from people. You know, I, I know a ton of indie authors and I know a ton of indie authors who are fascinating, wonderful people and whom I call friends. And I call them friends and I care deeply about them because they have that same mindset. Yes, they promote their work, but it's not the only thing they talk about. Uh, in addition, booktube goals just to connect with people. I, f I, I keep connecting with people and that's cool. Um, more booktube goals is to motivate people to, to, to pick up a book and read. Uh, for someone to say, you know what, I'm going to do a challenge because if this jackass can do it and English is his le a second language, I can do it too. Um, to somehow inspire people. I think I, that that's a main goal in, in all the things. It sounds like it's such a douchey thing to say, but uh, we are in search of meaning, and part of my meaning or, or relevance or, or worth is based on inspiring people. I've done it on a couple of occasions, and it, it always fills my heart with joy to know that something I did either made someone smile, made their day, made them think, made them want to read something, or made them want to write something or, or create something. So, um, yeah, that. Uh, question number eight. What advice would you give to a booktuber that has just created their channel? Enjoy yourself. A lot of people worry about a ton of things. A lot of people say be yourself. Yeah, be yourself, obviously. But enjoy yourself. A lot of people stress so much about, oh, my God, am I doing this? Enjoy yourself. Um, that should be like really, really top two or three things that that have to be in your channel. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy the contact. Enjoy meeting people. Enjoy interacting with people. Enjoy watching videos. Enjoy commenting on videos. But enjoy yourself, because if not, then what the hell are you doing? Use your. If you're not gonna enjoy this, use your your time doing something that you enjoy and and ha can have a positive impact on your life and on someone else's life. Don't do something because, oh my God, everyone's doing it. No, fuck that. I'm not supposed to curse in these videos, but that one came natural. Um, question number nine. What are some qualities or traits that you look for when it comes to watching other booktubers? Honestly, uh, I don't watch big booktuber channels. Uh, Steve Donahue is one of the biggest channels. Uh, I live before books. Olivia uh, is another of the big book uh, booktube channels. But if you see those two people, even though they have thousands of followers, they're super genuine, super nice, super engaged. Uh, they like what they're doing. They they like doing this. I I like doing this. I like, you know, the whole the whole oh look at myself in the camera. It's kind of weird, uh, but the interaction is worth it. But I look for that and honesty and genuineness. A lot of people go like, "Hi, I'm so awesome and so happy." And and the thing is that. It's not that it's good or bad, it's that it does worry me because I, I've known way too many people who have that, um, that good face forward and beneath that there is, there is someone ha begging for help and attention and that's, that's worrisome and I'd rather see the real you and, and that you don't need to put up a mask in a show. Some people are really entertaining but I, I don't know, it, you can hear it in their voice. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to meet personas. I want to meet persons. Keep the A. Um, oh, my online persona. <laughs> because, you know, and, and, and not everyone's super happy. Uh, be honest. Uh, if you need to take a break, take a break. And don't apologize for it, by the way. Um, but yeah, just, just... Be yourself. Be honest. Uh, people who are genuine, uh, I like. I like. It doesn't matter the gender, the age, uh, the race, the weight, the height, the fashion sense, or the books that they like. If they're people that... Here's the thing about BookTube. You can... You can ha it's not that you're having a conversation, but you have an idea what the conversation with a lot of these people would feel like and be like. And and I like that. It's it's 
it, it has that way over in terms of an advantage in, uh, in regards to all other social media platforms. You know, Indian Somniac, you don't see his face, but you get a sense of who he is. And if you can show me who you are, I'm not going to say that it's a guarantee that, that I'll, I'll, I'll like it, but there's a good chance that I might resonate. I watch a ton of BookTube newbie videos. Um, and there's a lot that I don't finish because it's not that I, I think that the person sucks. It's that I go like, eh, you know, what's a number? What's an extra person that I connect with if, if we're not going to have something to talk about? And that's fine. You can have people that are pleasant and you say hello and whatnot and you see maybe a, a sporadic video. Oh, this person did a video, etc. You don't have to be friends. You don't have to connect and you don't even have to follow each other. Um, yeah. Uh... And question number 10, what is a fun fact about you or a hobby besides reading and writing that people on BookTube might not know you have? I've mentioned it before. Uh, I'll mention a couple. First off, I do play the guitar and sing. Uh, there are videos. I am trying to capture lyrics to a new song so that I can release it. I do have that, that, that silly goal of recording, even if it's a rough demo of an album and releasing it. But I do have that goal. I will take my sweet time with it. Um, and another thing is that uh, some people still don't know that I'm Puerto Rican. I'm Puerto Rican. I'm half Puerto Rican, half Cuban. Uh, I was born, bred, and raised in Puerto Rico. Uh, and I moved to the States last year. Uh, that's 36 years in Puerto Rico, minus three months that I spent in New York. Everything else was in Puerto Rico tiny little island in the Caribbean which is a wonderful place and it shall always be home and the last the last detail and I want to mention it this week is I'm a bodyboarder bodyboarding is like surfing but you do it uh, on your stomach you can do it also uh, on drop knee or stand up and you use fins and it's a whole different uh, approach to the wave um, I'm a big bodyboarding fan and I share a lot of bodyboarding stuff on Facebook uh, and Twitter and Google Plus. Not so much on Instagram, uh, not so much here. Uh, although there, there are videos of me uh, surfing. And not a huge day, but it was a fun day. And I love the sport of bodyboarding. And, and another booktube goal, if I can convince two people, not one, two people, to pick up a bodyboard and go for it, uh, I'm a happy guy. I love my sport, it's it's a sport that struggles to get funding. I have no idea why, if you see the action and the skill and the commitment of the writers, uh, you would ask yourself the same question. I think it is a better sport and more entertaining and more competitive than, than stand-up surfing. And I will not take anything away from the stand-up surfers, but they shouldn't take anything away from bodyboarders either, which they do constantly. Uh, but I love my sport. And I invite you to check out the highlights for the Arica Chilean Challenge, which was which finished it finished this weekend. Amazing action, and and know that odds are really high that I'll be either in a chat room or on the Facebook page or watching because I love, love, love to bodyboard. As for who do I tag? I tag uh, A.L. Mabry, I tag Amarinske from Amalyrical, I tag Amber from Amber Eats Books, I taggle Novel Thoughts, I taggle, I, I taggle, I tag The Baked Book, Anna from The Baked Book, uh, I tag Jessica Marie Bumgartner, uh, I tag Travis and his crew at Literary Gladiators, great, great channel, honestly, great channel. I tag Nicole from Who Picked This Book. Always, always nice to catch up with her. I tag Vanessa from Split Reads, although I'd be surprised if she hasn't done this yet. And I tag Joe Compton from Go Indie Now, the godfather of Go Indie Now. Fantastic guy, fantastic channel. Puts a lot of effort into sharing all things indie, and if you're not watching, you're missing out. So, yeah, long ass video. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. So till next time, peace, love, and Mikey Rolls.